My name is Carrie Cottle and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today we are reading the book All Different Now. Enjoy! All Different Now, Juneteenth, the first day of freedom. Written by Angela Johnson, illustrated by E.B. Lewis. Published by Simon & Schuster, Books for Young Readers. A June morning breeze off the port blew the smell of honeysuckle past the fields, across the yard. And into our room to wake us. And nobody knew as we ate a little, talked a little, and headed to the fields as the sun was rising that soon it would be all different. Then we worked and worked and worked some more under the hot Texas sun. until word spread from the port to town, through the countryside, and into the fields. That a union general had read from a balcony that we were all now and forever free and things would be all different now. I watched as my Aunt Laura sang as she held her baby. Mr. Jake, who some say was a hundred, cried quietly and a group of grown people bowed their heads and whispered things to each other I could not hear. My mama held my hand softly and looked beyond as another breeze blew over and everything fell to a hush. But later, Papa, Mama, the aunts and uncles and all of my cousins had an afternoon picnic by the water. My baby brother crawled around our blanket as we listened to the sounds of the waves. And as more people joined us, we ate as free people, laughed as free people, and told stories as free people on into the night. What was before would be no more. As we walked back home, the cool of the night soothed our tired feet that padded quietly past the shadowy fields of cotton. And in the morning, the smell of honeysuckle will wake me again beside my sisters and brother to a time that will be for all of us all different now. At the end of this book is an extensive author's note and illustrator's note by Angela Johnson and E.B. Lewis. I encourage you to pick up a copy of this book to support 
the author and illustrator and publisher, and read them at home with your family. That was All Different Now, Juneteenth, the first day of freedom. I loved reading this book. You know, I learned a lot of new things when I read not only the story in the book, but the nonfiction information at the end. It's amazing how you can learn new things all the time throughout your life. And it's incredible to me as a teacher that I didn't know very much about Juneteenth. I need to get some work done. I need to get some work learning more about black history and about the different holidays that we celebrate in this country and we should start celebrating in this country. Thanks for joining me on this adventure of learning. Take care.